welcome back. Our next character is the most gentle and lovable guy in the Legion of the Disney Villains. The only crime he keeps on doing that makes him a Disney villain is constantly obeying his captain's demands. This is Mr. Smee. Out of every sidekick who ever worked with a Disney villain, there has never been someone who is as loyal and as famous as Mr. Smee. Even though he may be a nice guy to be around with, and he's also a little goofy and very kind, he always puts Captain Hook's wishes first on his to-do list, even if he doesn't like some of his plans. In other words, he's the Disney version of Smithers, except we never question his sexuality. But maybe if... Nah. At one point, he was the one who told Hook about Tinkerbell ditching Peter Pan and the Lost Boys from rumors he heard from the pirate crew. Which gives Hook one heck of an idea. This is how it goes. Step 1. Makes me capture Tink. Step 2. Lie to Tink that Peter loves Wendy so she can reveal the Lost Boys hideout. And Step 3. Hook and all the crew go capture the kids to turn them into pirates. In the film, Smee was animated by Ollie Johnson and was voiced by Bill Thompson, who also voiced Droopy, the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, and the first voice of Scrooge McDuck. Today, whenever Smee would make an appearance, he's voiced by Jeff Bennett, who does the voice of many current voices of other Disney characters, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's dad, and many more. Outside of the 1953 film, it's rare to see Captain Hook without Mr. Smee on screen. Smee appeared in the sequel Return to Neverland, TV shows, the Kingdom Hearts games, even in the theme parks you can spot him with Hook. Now, it's true that you have seen Captain Hook without Smee when he's posing with the other Disney villains. But have you ever seen Smee without Captain Hook? In Epic Mickey, when you first see him in Ventureland, he's crying like a little wimp because the captain is no longer himself. If you haven't seen the file on the pirate crew, here's the thing. Hook and some of his crew turn into robots so the ones who aren't robots escape there. What Smee is asking you to do is to stop the machine that's turning the pirates into man-killing robots on Skull... <coughs> Cranium Island. Aww. But that doesn't really change his Smee's mood in the game. The real judgment is how you treat Hook. If you free the sprite, the crew can go with the captain to get Pete Pan. If you get rid of Hook, then Smee is now named the new captain of the Jolly Roger. Okay, when you think about legendary pirates, who do you think of? Blackbeard? Long John Silver? Davy Jones? Captain Smee? You gotta be kidding me.